one way to think this through is to think about other sentient beings elsewhere in the universe. Another way to think it through is imagine just um, we successfully colonize and terraform Mars and there's a population of humans living on Mars. Um, now, suppose you then discover that the people on the Earth are significantly better off or significantly worse off than the people on the other planet. You know, we ordinarily think that we have these obligations of distributive justice that are obtained within communities. And many of us think that we have these ob obligations, same obligations of distributive justice that obtain across the earth as a whole. So we have, you know, we have duties to help the global poor, those of us who are in rich countries and should be doing considerable, a considerable amount more than we do. But is there a sense in which our obligations might be terrestrially bounded um, in the sense that if there, are, if there is another community on Mars and they're suffering and they're not as well off as people on Earth, um, and it's through no fault of um, the people on Earth, would we have an obligation to, to help them? And the same would be true if there were sentient beings who met the same kind of level of rational capacities as us and they needed our assistance. Would, they, would we have obligations to, to aid them? Uh, and again, it forces you to think, so in this sense, it's not so much about whether our obligations are sort of contingently based or... Um, or sort of founded in fundamental, um, fundamental facts about us. It's more about whether there are, there are morally significant associations that we form and connections that we have to one another. Now, obviously, we think, you know, within your family, say, you might think that you obviously have greater obligations to help the people in your family than you do people who aren't in your family. You might extend that and think the same is true for people within your, within your nation. And then the question is, is the same true for people on your planet? Think about the difference between you know, some random member of your fam a random member of your family and a random member of the species of the, the, the human species on, on Earth. You have these intimate ties to anybody in your family, um, and you don't have those sorts of ties to any random Earthling. Um, but it's an interesting and open question. I mean, I, I would imagine that in the scenario where there were a conflict for resources between people on Earth and some other um, people elsewhere, people on Earth would band together and club together and say, well, no, you know, we, we, we want to put earthlings first, right? Um, make earth great again. It would be that sort of view. And there would be a question there as there is in, um, within nation states as to whether that would end up being a parochial view um, or whether it's one that we could ultimately defend.